Welcome to Trilogy Time, I'm your host ADG and today I bring you the look at the Kung Fu Panda Trilogy. I'll talk briefly about each one of them, of those movies, and then I'll rate them according to my opinion. And well, if you haven't seen these movies yet, which I doubt it, well, spoiler alert, Kung Fu Panda number 1. Kung Fu Panda 1 was uh, issued on 2008, uh, it felt incredible this movie, one of my favorite animated movies of all time, a great uh, piece of animation, I loved the animation, loved every single part of the movie, I loved its humor, it was great, it wasn't like a very kid, well it's basically a kid uh, friendly uh, humor, but it still had a sense like even to this day, I still enjoyed this movie and it's just a great, great, great piece of animation. Well, the characters. Uh, I have to say that my favorite character has always been Tigress. I like her tough attitude. I mean, if I'm talking about the heroes, well, obviously, it's Tigress. I, I like Poe. It's hilarious. Poe is hilarious. But I like uh, Angelina Jolie's performance better than Jack Black's for some reason. I just loved her performance as Tigress. It's just... I, I mean, I just liked her performance. Her seriousness, her voice was very powerful, but powerful, but uh, at the same time, it was soothing for some reason. And all the characters are great. Mr. Ping, uh, Master Shifu, Poe and himself. Uh, it's an amazing piece of animation. that, And they have portrayed their characters very well. Mantis and all the other Furious 5. And, and it's amazing. It's, it's, it's great. The antagonist of this movie. Well, Tai Long was a great villain. I mean, it wasn't like... It di well, he didn't do much in the movie. Except for that scene on the cave. Where he basically destroyed an entire army all by himself. And I said that he didn't do much. Because that was sadly his only action. I mean, Poe did more and he didn't get to kill anyone. He just sent him to the spirit realm. And yes, he sent them to the spirit realm. Because obviously when you die, as we saw in Kung Fu Panda 3, you go to the spirit realm. But that we'll discuss on later. But still, I love Tai Long. I love his character. Did quite a lot of things. And... <laughs> And Poe was a great ending when he learned the skadoosh technique, which is some kind of weird stuff, but let's get that on the ending. The ending of a movie can make it great, or it can make it horrible. But this movie, uh, I feel like the end was good. The end was a very, very, very good. But uh, at the same time, if I get it, I I'm like... How the hell did he learn that technique? It's not like... I mean, if if the technique is so easy to master for Poe, who basically just learned Kung Fu the other day, he learned a technique that Master Shifu had. And Master Shifu is on a very, very different level than Poe. I mean, if the technique was so easy, I mean, I could just... Hold my finger like this. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, I was. I'm holding the, my hand as skidush. I'm just gonna skidush myself. Is that true? And I don't think it's gonna die. Oh my god! Kung Fu Panda 2 on 2011. Right. This movie is amazing. I di didn't expect as a kid. I did not expect there to be a Kung Fu Panda 2. But. It did happen, and I I don't know how I missed it. I mean, literally, I got Kung Fu Panda 2, I mean, in 2012? I mean, 2013, I got the movie, the disc, on 2012. 13, sorry. And I don't know how the hell did I miss this movie. 
I mean, it had it was two years old by the time I saw it for the first time, and I loved it. Th this movie had so much depth, and it felt so strong with a great story. It just, I, for my opinion, it was one of the greatest films ever produced. On, uh, and it's. And it's and it's these weird times that the sequel is actually good, so I don't feel I don't know why I don't know how. This is amazing. This is amazing. The characters again. Well, ah, uh, still Tigress has been my favorite in this movie. I loved her performance even more. Be and we saw this weird um, relationship that Poe and Tigress has. I mean, she does care a lot for him. But she doesn't show it that much. Well, uh, uh, by the part of the hugging scene, well, that she so shows it a lot. But it seems like she's like though those type of persons that do not express much their feelings. But when they do, it just feels so c good. I mean, I loved the when she hugged Poe. And they, they are all my, almost all the characters did something important. I mean, Mantis uh, destroyed one of the other... Mantis was a great part on the destroying the tower scene. And... Yeah, it's a great, a great thing that... Basically, all the Furious Five and Poe had a great scene. Also, Jean-Claude Van Damme. And other guys... In the boat scene, oh, it was just so amazing. And the boat scene was great. The antagonist, Shen. Oh my goodness, Shen. This peacock was, was incredibly a great, it's an incredible villain. The actor who portrayed him, which whose name I can't remember right now, but his performance on this movie was so amazing his i i hated him every time he got away i hated every time and i was just like i was so angry at him and it just makes it even better because if you hate the antagonist it just makes you it it's the movie is done doing a great thing if you hate the villain i mean if the if they intended for the villain to be hated but people end up Loving him and hating the hero, you did something wrong. But right now, this antagonist is one of the best an antagonists in film history. And yes, I'm I'm risking a lot to say this, but yeah, I'm saying that Shen is one of the best villains on movie history. The ending, oh my god, the ending was so powerful. After that boat scene, and all the and Poe felt defeated. He placed himself in the middle of the sea, and it seemed like hope was lost, and all the cannons were going to shoot him. But then he reached his interior peace, and oh my goodness, it just was the most powerful scene I witnessed on that movie. It was so intense. The final battle between Poe and Shen was incredible as well and when Shen cut all those uh, all those ropes and the cannon fell on top of him it was a great finish and I th I thought it was a great finish happy ending and I felt like this movie was great I, I remember watching it with my family and we were all so wowed by this movie and it was amazing and then when we get the final clip, when it's getting away from the village where Poe lives, and it goes beyond the mountains. And then you see this weird creature. I thought it was uh, uh, Master Ugwe. I thought it was Ugwe, that Ugwe was still alive somewhere. But then I s it said it was a panda, and it says, My son is alive. My son is alive. It, it was incredible. And I was so pumped. I was like, they're gonna make a third Kung Fu Panda movie. I was so pumped up. 
for it and I just waited and I completely forgot for two years that there was gonna be another Kung Fu Panda movie. It was so it's so hilarious that that happened to me. Mm. Kung Fu Panda 3. On 2015, they issued this movie and it and I I bought it recently. I mean, yeah, recently. I bought it recently and I had a blast. Literally, I was laughing and laughing every time I watched it and I still watch it. It was a great movie. Lots of good comedy. I mean, it was great. The, the, tri the third one was actually a good, a good movie. Yes, it was a good movie, but I kind of expected something else, if you know what I'm saying. I, I did not expect it to be such a humorous movie. I mean, the second one was very dark, a very dark movie, and I loved it. But this one was uh, kind of weird, and it, it even though it was great, it was a great movie. Um, I feel like it could have been something different, actually. Uh, but it was a great story. I mean, mo more like uh, this guy comes back from the dead, uh, <laughs> and there was some cool moments where he would say his name and nobody would know who the hell he was, but. Yeah, it was. It was a great. It was a great moment on the movie. The characters. Well, I have to say that the villain uh, for this movie was. Uh, I have to say this ox guy was uh, very powerful, and he was like a wannabe, a Kratos wannabe. And with his blades and other stuff. And it was a very incredible thing that they got him. Uh, but I won't talk about much of him uh, for now. And I'm going to center on Poe. Poe on this movie got... Uh, he's a bit smarter. But this time, Tigress has like this different robe. And uh, it's kind of weird, this movie. She doesn't get much uh, spotlight. I mean, she does get a bit of spotlight when the villain is attacking the temple of the Furious Five. But other than that, she's basically on the sidelines. And Poe's dad appears more. I mean, his real dad, not Mr. Pig. Uh, it, it ap he appears more in the movie. And it just kind of makes me feel like something weird. And I don't know what to think about it, but... Uh, it was cool, and we got to see all those different pandas, which was amazing. It was amazing to see more pandas. I always wanted to see if there were more pandas, and we finally see it. The antagonist. Oh boy, this guy, the Kratos wannabe. He actually had like cool thing because he had look, those minions, jade zombies or zombies as Poe and. <laughs> Kind of weird thing because I thought the word zombies was just a modern term. I thought they would be like on dead uh, walking statues or something like that. And uh, it was good. It wasn't. It wasn't as good as Shen or Tai Lung. But right now I'm. I don't know what to think about this guy. It's just something weird. I have to say that the ending of this movie was incredible. I saw it on the cinema. And, uh, and on 2015 I saw it on the cinema. And I was completely shocked when the skadoosh didn't work on, on this guy. On the villain. Because I can't remember his name right now. And I... I, I it was so... I, I felt like, oh my god, this is over. And then Poe uh, skadooshed himself. And it was like a powerful moment. I remember I was so shocked in the cinema and the movie theater. And, and, and it was a great ending. And even Poe learned the Kamehameha. Or that would be the Big Bang. I don't know how to call that 
Uh, kind of looks like both. But I have to say that this third movie had a good ending. But the thing I'm more pissed off about is that they introduce a great technique that I know all the pandas can do. And they all magically can know it all. Oh my god, it's just like one try. Who are you? I'm... I'm this guy, I'm Oscar, I'm Willie. So it's like, you get Chi, you get Chi, you get Chi, you get Chi, and you get Chi, and you who are watching this video, you get Chi as well. But, yeah, it's a bit of a problem I have with this movie. The rating. Okay, who gets the golden ADG seal? Well, after thinking it thoroughly for quite some moments, I would say that Kung Fu Panda 2 gets the golden seal. Kung Fu Panda 2 was great. It had an amazing villain, an amazing story. It was a very dark movie. And literally most of its scenes are in the dark. And it just felt like very powerful. The ending even. It all felt so special. It was great. It was great. Kung Fu Panda 1 gets the silver ATG seal because I mean Kung Fu Panda 1 was amazing if it wasn't if it wasn't for Kung Fu Panda 1 uh, if it wasn't for Kung Fu Panda 1 I have to say none of them would exist and it was a great movie it was one of my favorite movies of all time Kung Fu Panda 3 gets the bronze ADG logo and why is that I mean I enjoyed the movie but I felt it could have been better if the movie had been produced differently with a different type of story even if it had the same characters if it wasn't so uh, comedy like I think it would have been the same impactful as Kung Fu Panda 2 which is rare to say that a, uh, that, a, that a sequel is better than the original movie. Which is hard to say except for the John Wick films. Which I believe soon there will be three of them. And trust me, I will review these three. Well, that was it for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like down below. It will be highly appreciated if you like this sort of content please like it and I will know and I will make more of the trilogy time and trust me it will be a great experience for all of us and this has been all I will see you next time peace